Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel object list clock. Now detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So this will also include all the PLC, the PLC program as well as the HMI program. So up on my screen here, you see that we have, we've created a new page, page 14, and we've called it clock. And we went back to our, our in our clock page, you see here that our common screen background has been set, which comes from page 100. And on page 100, when we hit the screen select, you'll see that under the screen, we have our clock screen located here so that way we can select it uh, when we have the uh, uh, page viewing. So let's cancel that. We'll go back to our clock screen and under the clock screen if we look over to our object list you'll see that we have an analog clock and we have a digital clock. Up here we have our analog so we just plugged in our analog clock itself and in the actual analog clock window you'll see that we can change a few different things, the color of background, the digits, the hour, the minute, the hand, and the second. And we change all those different colors. We could put a label on it if we wish or not. And under the option, we have the ability to either make this visible, visible or non-visible. So in our case, we're gonna leave that um, uh, visibility off so that will be visible all the time. So when it's back here, we can grab these handles and we can make it bigger or smaller, wherever we want. Then on our digital side, you can see here that we've just taken time two. We've created that. And if we double click on that digital clock, you'll see a digital clock window now appears. You'll notice that we can select either the time, the date, or the time end date, which is what we have. Then we have a 24 hour mode. Right? or you know, it adds the AM, PM for us. So we'll leave on a 24 hour mode. Our date format, we can format in several different ways. We'll leave it on day, month, year. We can actually day, day, month. So it looks more like that. So either way, it, it, um, it's up to you how you want it to actually look on your screen. Then we have our text size. We'll leave it at 24, so it's big enough to see um, on our screen itself. So we'll just hit OK. So here's our screen and we'll just hit save. And what we can do is actually we can simulate uh, what this is going to look like on our screen by hitting simulate. It automatically defaults to our target panel. We'll hit start. And when we do, there's our screen and here's our control. So we'll just put the bezel on there, make it look like it, uh, uh, it actually is our EA9 T10 and what we'll do is we can go down to our clock screen or what we can do is we hit the select screen and hit our clock screen back to main menu so we can fully activate onto uh, or fully program our screen itself so there we go and then we have a display of our clock both the analog and the digital clock and over here on our controls you can see that we can turn things on and off we get rid of that error message from our alarms um, post that we did last time. And so that's about it. That's what our clock will look like. So let's exit from here. And what we can do now is we can look under the um, setup. And under this clock setup, we have clock source. And under source, what we have is either a clock source of internal or external. When it's internal, then what happens is it, the HMI will use the internal real time clock as is, as a source for the date and time. And if we want to, which we have in here, we've actually set our tags to actually write to these individual tags in the PLC. And when it writes the tags in the PLC, then it's actually writing the current time and date into that PLC. So we can use that in our program. So it syncs those uh, two uh, sources of real time clocks. So I said, okay. And now what we can do is we can transfer this down 
to our actual HMI. So what we'll do is we'll get that started and what we'll do is show you our actual HMI. Our HMI is right here. Here's our T10 uh, CL. So let's go send and we'll send this program down. We will select our Ethernet and we'll hit transfer. So we'll save our changes and now our transfer begins. There we go, our transfer is now complete. We'll hit OK. We'll close that down. And now, if we were to go to our screen, let's select screen, we'll go to our clock, and that's where our clock now looks like. So there's my analog and my digital uh, display. So if we look at our PLC program, we're using the DMORE Designer. And here we go here. And what we did was we said that we're going to write the clock into our MHR holding registers uh, from 900 to 906. So there's my year, month, day, hour, or day of the week, hour, minute, second. So that's exactly what what's happening right now. So we can then pick this up and put that into our PLC or use that within our PLC. So now let's go back to our software and under software, let's go to our panel again and we'll look at our um, setup clock source and under the clock source, we're going to go in external now. So what we're going to do is allow the PLC to write to our internal clock within the HMI. So the PLC will be controlling the time. So in this case here, let's change our tags. And what we'll do is change our tags to um, the ones that we have pre-programmed so we can read the year and read the month and read the day. Then what we can do is read our hour and our minute and second. There we go. So now we've set all of our tags to do the external. So what's going to do is look into our program to actually find this information and then update our clock accordingly. So we'll say okay for that. And once again, we will send this down to our um, HMI. Transfer that. I'm going to save it first. So now we're transferring that down. There we go. So our transfer is complete. Hit OK. Close this. And now what you'll see is if we um, call up our screen select, our clock, and our clock is now updating, but updating with our values that are in our um, PLC. So if we look at our PLC again, you will see that here what I'm doing is I'm moving the real time clock, the year, month, and date into uh, MHR 10 or 910, 911, and 912. And then we have the hour, minute, and second. And these are being put into MHR 13, 14, and 15. So that's how we now put our or look at the PLC as the clock function or the where the tags are being located. So very easy to do and very easy to sync in, in our program itself. And you'll see here that um, creating a program like this is very useful uh, for the operator. They can quickly see what the current time and date is. So the other option that we can do with this is actually um, set our panel. So under our panel, you'll see we have adjust clock. And here what we can do is adjust the clock. So we can uh, hit a customized and we can set whatever time we want. We can hit seven. And remember, this is going to be internally. 
And then what we can do is we can then send the panel. Okay, it's just giving you a, a warning that it's gonna affect the change and we're gonna say okay. And it will actually then put that value into the PLC or into the HMI for us. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription in order to re receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.